the IDF coordinated a convoy to 38 trucks to provide additional humanitarian assistance to the residents of northern Gaza. This humanitarian aid came from Egypt, went through a security screening at the Kerem Shalom humanitarian crossing in Israel, and then entered Gaza for distribution by private contractors. As these vital humanitarian supplies were making their way towards Gazans in need, thousands of Gazans dispensed upon the trucks. Some began violently pushing and even trampling other Gazans to death, looting the humanitarian supplies. The unfortunate incident resulted in dozens of Gazans killed and injured. Here are the facts. At 4.40 a.m., the first aid truck in the humanitarian convoy started making its way through the humanitarian corridor that we were securing. Yes, the IDF was securing the humanitarian corridor so that the aid convoy could reach its destination in northern Gaza. Our tanks were there to secure the humanitarian corridor for the aid convoy. Our UAVs were there in the air to give our forces a clear picture from above. During this humanitarian operation, at 4.45 a.m., a mob ambushed the aid trucks, bringing the convoy to a halt. As you can see in this video, the tanks that were there to secure the convoy sees the Gazan being trampled and cautiously tries to disperse the mob with a few warning shots. When the hundreds became thousands and things got out, out of hand, the tank commander decided to retreat to avoid harm to the thousands of Gazans that were there. Here you can see how cautious they were when they were backing up. I think as a military man, they were backing up s securely, risking their own life, not shooting at the mob. The Israel Defense Forces operate according to the rules of engagement and the international law. No IDF strike was conducted towards the aid convoy. I want to repeat that. No IDF strike was conducted towards the, a the aid convoy. On the contrary, the IDF was there conducting a humanitarian operation to secure the humanitarian corridor and allow the aid convoy to reach its designated distribution point so that the humanitarian aid could reach Gazan civilians in the north that are in need. We have been conducting a humanitarian operation of this kind for the last four nights without any problem. It's the first night that we had this kind of event. This humanitarian aid was coordinated by Israel for the people of Gaza. We want humanitarian aid to reach the people of Gaza. We are working around the clock to make, it, to make this happen. Israel puts no limits no limits on the amounts of aid that can go into Gaza. We are working together with humanitarian organizations and the international community to help them solve the issue of aid distribution inside Gaza. It is a problem. This morning, humanitarian aid made its way to the northern Gaza. There was no IDF strike on this aid. I repeat, there was no IDF strike on this aid. On the contrary, the IDF was conducting a humanitarian operation. That's why we were there. Because our war is against Hamas, not against the people of Gaza. We are in a war that we did not start. We did not seek. Hamas started this war when it massacred and kidnapped Israeli civilians on October 7th, and then went back into Gaza and hid behind the Gazan civilians, using them as a human shield. We recognize the suffering 
of the innocent people of Gaza. This is why we are seeking ways to expand our humanitarian efforts. This is why we are conducting humanitarian operation like this, like the one we conducted this morning.